The Moroccan approach in fighting violent extremism is a holistic uh, approach in my sense because it is gathering religious reforms including uh, law enforcement and reforms of the penal law and even the procedure of uh, law enforcement by the creation of the Central Bureau of Investigation which has become a structure under all the international good conduct recommendation internationally admitted. Also, the approach has also taken into or took into consideration the fighting against vulnerability in economy, socio-economical spaces in Morocco, fighting against analphabetism, about poverty, about gaps between remote and urban area, area around cities, which has been the socio-economic background of former incident uh, actors. In addition to that, after 2003, 2007 and 2011, through, sta through three stages that Morocco has faced terrorist incidents, there was a new reconfiguration to include also preventive measures. And by this, we had the Rabita Muhammadiyah of Ulama, who has become a supporting structure to the Ministry of Islamic affairs mainly active in the area of prevention and the construction of radical discourse. By the time the general delegation in charge of prisons, the GRPR, has uh, taken the initiative to launch a lot of programs either to face uh, radicalization in prisons, recidivism, but also to prepare former detainees under the law of terrorism to reintegration. And in this context, there was the launching of the prominent program named Musalaha Reconciliation, which is gathering a lot of programs all together, a lot of actors, including religious teaching and supervising, law teaching and human rights supervising, psychological supervising, socio-economical teaching and the empowerment of professional skills of those former radicals. The most interesting issue is that the program has put in mind to three axes. The first one is to deal with those former terrorists somehow, violent extremists, as citizens. So that's true that they lost their freedom because of their involvement in terrorist acts or violent extremist actions, but they are still citizens and the enjoy all the civil rights. This, this view is a very good channel that can help them to resilience and to be back to the society. So without exclusion. The second one is to evaluate all the steps. That's why, I mean, this program was armed by a lot of assessment tools that are following each steps to evaluate, to reform and to change, to adapt the program to the needs. And the third one is to work with the concept that criminal acts and criminal personality are not associated always, which means that sometimes you can find a very dangerous criminal who is doing a very light criminal act. Sometimes you will find some non-criminal actors who are doing a very big criminal act. So this uh, theoretical framing is very important in my sense to make it successful. And that's why I guess that this Musalaha program is very promoting in the area of cooperation between the Moroccan efforts and neighboring countries, mainly southern European countries.